Howdy folks, if you're new, please subscribe, like, share, comment and hit the notifications bell. Welcome, welcome. Real Housewives of Durban Season 1 Episode 11, Fresh Episode, Same Old BS. I was happy that one, they are in my favorite place on earth, Cape Town. 2. The episode started with Cape Town, no picking up from the previous episode. Celebratory hands in the air. Someone should take Nanku under her wing and teach her about hosting. I'm serious. But that person can't be Homozo. Zizuka Nye, she decided that she was going to be the one handing out room keys to the ladies. I have watched the episode twice but still don't get why, person shrugging, brown skin. KG tries to create drama with the sun tanning thing but it falls flat. They sat by the pool and they're calling it a pool party, I don't know why. They wore their swimwear, La Conco covered herself with towels and it looked awkward nye but a seco lapo, but there was no swimming, nor was there a party. Unless poking fun at Mabusi is considered a party. I was ready to snatch some wigs on Mabusi's behalf. Why would you fly someone all the way to Kopstadt, only to make them a butt of the joke? And KG might hide behind her poor command of icy Zulu but saying into M. Nandi Iafindwa was uncalled for. The fact that they laughed about it made me mad. Mind you, Ayanda and Saraisha have never apologized for laughing at Mabusi in the Midlands. Yes, I am keeping scores. Hashtag mean girls vibes. Mabusi let them know that she doesn't appreciate the mockery and left, only Ayanda had the presence of mind to go talk to her. Mabusi gave game night a miss, for obvious reasons. The ladies looked so bored. Saraisha joined the group and the mood lifted instantly. Is she one of the executive producers? KG was thrilled to be twinning with her, rolling eyes face, Nanku called it a buy one get one free special, smiley face. The game they played would have worked better if they'd been drinking. Production dropped the ball on this one. Nanku's poor communication resulted in some of the ladies going to the farm to pick grapes and dresses and feeling uncomfortable. There's a nonchalant air about her that I find really annoying. Ayanda was the first to enthusiastically jump onto the back of the backy, whilst others were still contemplating making a run for it. She picked the most grapes too. I love her work ethic and commitment to charity. Yes, I am a fan. KG saw an opportunity to shine and took it. Annie tagged along to share the spotlight. Ladies, you're already on the show, we see you. The whole point of going to the farm was to help the grape pickers. Some people, it seems, just don't understand that every grape pick means money in the pockets of those ladies. So horsing around defeated the purpose in my view. Nanku matched the physical work with our 3000, which was very generous of her. Back at the hotel, the L-shaped dinner table. A lot of issues came up all at once. The un-African comment was finally put to rest and some group members felt that La Conco was supposed to take responsibility for what Nanku said. On which planet Kodwa? I still don't know why they feel they should be included on issues of Amichichi, person shrugging, brown skin, the same Homozo who claimed her icy Zulu was not good, suddenly felt that had she been invited, she would have been able to converse with Amachichi and icy Zulu, person face palming. The subject quickly turned to Ayanda, not attending Saraisha's silly event, knowing full well that she'd just lost her mom. Then they turned it into you never replied when we texted our condolences, Annie was smirking, clearly amused. I got so mad at the callousness of the whole thing. This mean girl behavior really irked me. I know they want ratings, but this was unnecessary and visibly painful for Ayanda. When she left the table, they didn't even bother to follow her, just to see if she's okay. Not Munj, not the hostess, not even Saint Saraisha, unamused face. Nanku in her usual blasé manner, offered Mabusi the cheapest looking bouquet of flowers and chocolates for an apology about jokingly saying she couldn't find Mabusi's room key card at the pool party. Mabusi accepted the apology and gave us the most satisfying but in television history. Nanku was red for filth, top to bottom. If you watch hashtag Roa you will remember Candy and Nene's I see. You. There was a split screen in and all. The show producers had better give Mabusi ice colo nuiso lake come season 2. She has been put through the fire and emerged stronger and purer. I stan, a queen. And her confessional makeup on this episode was... A-OK -okay hand, fire. Ayanda, 
Nanku and Mabusi are carrying this show in my humble opinion. Did you see the aerial shots? Cape Town is beautiful. Oh I just love Cape Town. Hashtag Real Housewives of Durban Hashtag Ro Durban Hashtag Cape Town Hashtag Cape Town Mag